The solution to this entire format you guys are gonna see in this video. If you guys are tired of Orcus, if you are tired of Salomon Greats as much as I am, I have found the solution. This deck will wreck those two decks. Not only can the deck that I'm gonna showcase you guys go second, but the deck can also go first as well. If you have the versatility to go first or to go second against those two decks, you're pretty much just gonna win the duel, man. Today's the day after Thanksgiving, so you know what that means. Today is Black Friday, so happy Black Friday. Make sure you guys shop till you drop, and this weekend only at TX1.com. The entire website is up to 50% off. I have exclusive drops on the website right now. I don't know if the exclusive drops sold out, but some of the stuff that I release on the website are very, very exclusive. So for those of you who wanna help support the channel, Channel. Make sure you guys visit TX1.com today and get your awesome play mats and sleeves. The entire website is up to 50% off. You guys are really amazing. Make sure you guys get your merch today. Hit the link in the description box below for Black Friday. Guys, the sales are huge. You know what, guys? I won't waste any more time. Without further ado, let's get started with the solution to today's format. Let's do it. Let's look at our thing right here. Try hard. <laughs> Metal scrubs only. Metal only scrubs. The comments and the names on YGO Pro is the funniest things I've ever seen in my entire life. All right, guys, without further ado, let's begin try hard meta only scrubs. This guy goes like, you playing meta? I'm just going to say yeah for the sake that uh, this guy doesn't quit on me. So without further ado, let's begin. Paper Gang. As you guys all know, this deck is designed to go second, but this deck can also go first as well. Okay, so you guys all know we're talking about heroes right here. I truly believe that Dark Law is one of the most powerful cards uh, in today's meta game right now. This card is so good. If you're able to make this card going first against uh, Orcus or Salomon Greats, you literally just win the duel. And also at the same time, backing up with cards like Plasma, your opponent is not beating you. Our hand right now is absolutely insane. We got Double Mass Chain, Vision Hero Ferris, he means, uh, E Emergency Call, and also D Destiny Hero Malicious. And our first open hand. So this hand over here is actually really good going first. And also at the same time, if you were to go second, this deck can also easily OTK your opponent going second as well. What we're gonna do is that we're gonna activate Vision Hero Ferris' effect, send uh, Destiny Hero Malicious to the graveyard, Special Vision Hero Ferris. So we're gonna send Increase right here to the Spell and Trap card zone. Now what we're gonna do next is that we're gonna activate Vision Hero Increase ability. We are gonna send Vision Hero Ferris to the graveyard to Special Summit itself from the uh, Spell and Trap card zone. And now we're gonna activate Vision Hero Increase ability to Special Summon Vision Hero Vion directly from the deck. So we're gonna Special Summon Vision Hero Vion directly from the deck. Really important for our combo plays. Once Vion is Special Summon, you're gonna activate Vision Hero Vion's ability. So we're gonna send Shadow Mist to the graveyard. For this situation right here, I already have Mass Change in my hand, but if you guys don't have Mass Change, do not activate Shadow Mist's ability. But regardless, for the combo sake, I'm not going to activate Shadow Miss's ability because we're going to use his ability to search Mass Change directly from our deck to our hand. So now since you have these two monsters on the field, what you're going to do is that you're going to activate Vision Hero Violence ability to activate its effect to banish the Vision Hero Ferris that's in your graveyard to add Polymerization directly from your deck to your hand. Polymerization is really important because you're gonna use this card to Fusion Summon, so that way you can trigger off an E-Hero monster that is face up on the field. And I'll explain to you guys that in a second. Now what you do next is that you are gonna link away the Vision Hero Vine and also the Vision Hero Increase. Send these two cards to the graveyard to make Extra Hero Cross Crusader. Once Extra Hero Cross Crusader comes out, you're gonna activate Cross Crusader's ability to Special and Destiny Hero Malicious from your graveyard. So now what we're gonna do is that you're gonna activate Extra Hero Cross Crusader's ability to tribute a Destiny Hero Monster you control, which is Destiny Hero Malicious, to search any Hero Monster directly from your deck to your hand. Since you have E-Call in your hand, you're gonna be basically either searching off the Stratos or a Solid Soldier, whatever combo pieces that you're missing. Cross Crusader's ability, tribute off, of course, the Destiny Hero Malicious to search Solid Soldier directly from our deck to our hand. So add Solid Soldier. So now what do you do next is that you're gonna activate E-Emergency Call. Okay, we add Stratos to our hand and we also have Soul Soldier in our hand. We are going to normal summon Soul Soldier, activate Soul Soldier's ability to special summon El Material Stratos from our hand. Okay, special summon El Material Stratos. Once Stratos is special summon, you're going to activate Stratos' ability to add any hero monster from our deck to your hand. And the hero monster that we're going to add is Destiny Hero Plasma. Plasma absolutely broken in today's format especially going first you're going to be ending off with destiny hero plasma and also dark law on the field what you want to do next is that you actually want to activate destiny hero malicious banish yourself from the graveyard to special another malicious directly from the deck okay which is really important so now what you're going to do is that you're going to activate polymerization that you searched off the vision hero Vion to send soul soldier okay to send soul soldier and also the malicious to the graveyard to make your vision hero adoration okay the reason why you make adoration is so that you can trigger off soul soldier's ability to special summon a hero monster from your graveyard so you activate soul soldier's ability to target the shadow mist and we haven't used shadow mist's ability by the way okay special summon shadow mist activate shadow mist's effect at this point since we already have two mass changes in our hand we're basically going to get the third mass change directly from our nectar hand which is really good change is really awesome because we're able to dodge cards like widow anchor we can dodge cards like impermanence forbidden chalice there are so many ways to dodge 
a lot of cards with mass change, which is really, really good. So now what I'm going to do is that we're going to activate the Destiny Hero Malicious Effect, banish yourself from the Graveyard, to special summon another Mali directly from the deck. We can send three Hero Monsters to the Graveyard, which is Stratos, the Adoration, and also the Destiny Hero Malicious of the Graveyard, to special summon Destiny Hero Plasma to our side of the field. So right now we have a Skill Drain on the field, and we also have access to Dark Law. Uh, which is really awesome and the reason why you don't want to make uh, Dark Law now is that you want to be able to search off Shadow Mist's ability and Shadow Mist's effect you can only use one effect of Shadow Mist per turn so if I activate Mass Change now Shadow Mist won't have lots of value so you basically just want to wait till your opponent's turn so that way that you summon uh, Dark Law so that way that you can search off Shadow Mist's ability to search a hero monster directly from an extra hand aka the uh, e-hero honest neos and the reason why i left the cross crusader on the field is because i have multiple mass change so that way that I can open up my monster zones uh, for my extra deck right which is really really good so uh, my point has six cards let's see if they can deal with this so he's obviously playing some sort of meta deck because he says meta scrubs only yeah, i knew it i knew it some sort of meta deck this is absolutely perfect hopefully we can destroy you know we are going to destroy orcus today orchestrated return to send harp directly from his hand to graveyard maybe i should have shotgun uh the mass change right away but honestly it's not great to shotgun the shadow miss at times because it's really good to save the mass change for cards after burner widow anchor or permanence uh or things like that right so yeah man so now it's the right time to chain because if you summon dark law dark law is able to take a card out of his hand which is really good we are going to chain uh mass change send shadow mist to the graveyard to make our first dark law so whatever he draws we're going to be able to snipe a card out of his hand and he set a card before he activated orchestrated uh return which is pretty interesting so let's see what that face down card is so we're going to trigger off shadow mist and we're also going to trigger off dark laws effect and the shadow mist is really important so that way that we actually we need some sort of way to actually protect your desert hero plasma and also protect uh, your destiny hero dark law i essentially still have another dark law all right okay engage oh my goodness engage um engage i can chain the dark i can chain the mass change and i can banish another card of his opponent's hand but he's gonna search the afterburner anyways so it's i think it's best he's either gonna search afterburner he's either gonna search afterburner or a widow anchor so at this point, it's it's better to chain the mass change on whatever he targets instead, right? I I, I feel like that's more effective. Yeah, I I, I feel like that's that's more effective instead of taking the chance of just maybe banishing one. Of the, I knew it. Yeah, he's searching uh, afterburners. That that's fine. He's he's either gonna target my dark law or my plasma. If he targets my dark law, I'll just change mass change. If he targets my plasma, I'll just change mass change. Like regardless, I am getting dark law on the field, which is really really good. So he's gonna go afterburner. Uh, so I gotta think. Um, sure, that's fine. He's gonna target the plasma. At this point, I I feel like he's just gonna go for Dingersu, but Dingersu can only send one card anyways. But I still have the honest deals in my hand. Regardless, I'm still gonna have two dark laws on the field because I'm gonna chain the mass change, send plasma. Yeah, I'm gonna send plasma to the graveyard. Sounds like a way better play. Uh, we're gonna make a second dark law. Okay, really good really really good so make our second dark law right now he i think he has another he has a normal summon he has a normal summon and also the, the heart core in the graveyard that's that's completely fine by me that's fine honestly i feel like dark lawing and chaining plasma on that hmm maybe that could have been a, a good play because regardless like if he's targeting my plasma no no i know definitely like i felt like that definitely the mass change on that part was more of the the correct play to wait because at that point like yeah i could make a second dark law but if he makes another thing like yeah he, like he, he was gonna get if, if 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 i did not hit the afterburner like he was getting rid of both my dark laws anyways if, if he makes the gursu right so i felt like that was more of a correct play to wait for when he activates afterburner to target my card so that way i can chain uh the mass change so that's fine uh, Galatea is going to activate its effect to set either a Crescendo or the Babel. That's going to be fine. Babel's not going to do anything at this point. Sure, he can flip the Babel, no problem. He At this point, he can just make Dengursu. Uh, he can make Dengursu, but it doesn't really matter. What, like, like, whatever he makes it, 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 it doesn't really matter. Because he can set my Dark Wall, he can set my Mass Change. I have my Honest Neos to protect itself from getting battled. So he's going to activate its effect to send a card from the field to the graveyard. That's fine. That's fine, maybe. Yeah, so he sends one Dark Law. That's completely cool on me. He already has a normal summon. 
Does he have another like Widow Anchor? Does, does, does he have Widow Anchor? If he has Widow Anchor, I'm pretty sure he would have used the Widow Anchor under Dark Law anyways. So, yes, we can activate Honest Neil's ability, send it to the graveyard, target the Dark Law, and now Dark Law will be at 4900, and then like it's it's done it's literally done dark law is so good guys dark law and plasma is so good it makes the orcus player play so weird especially if this was against solomon greats i felt like this would have been a way of an easier matchup but obviously orcus can still grind uh, the deck is still really awesome but i feel like the solution to this meta is to play a deck that just doesn't let your opponent use the graveyard so either cards like necro valley or cards like dark law is gonna win you games guys Okay, so we draw straddles, which is really, really good. So we can easily just OTK him. And now at this point, we can just go straddles. I don't know what the heck that back row is, so I think it's really important to get rid of that back row. Uh, we can activate straddles ability. We can search a dust and gold, or we can just pop the back row. Uh, at this point, since I already have game already, just in case, you never know what these people on YGO Pro play. So let's destroy back row. Let's see what he has. So we're going to pop these two. What's his back row? What's his back row? Oh, Shark Cannon. <laughs> that's absolutely nothing. A lot of people have been playing this Orcus Sky Striker uh, list right here ever since uh, it won YCS Pasadena. Dread Decimator right here uh, with Straddles and also uh, with the Cross Crusader. So now this will bump our Dark Law to 35 and also at the same time put Dread Decimator up to 36. And because we have so many hero monsters in a greater with different names, so we're pretty much going to win the duo at this point. We're just going to attack with Dread Decimator over the Dinkersu. Dinkersu can't protect itself because it has no more materials. And, you know, if you really wanted to, we can also search Dust and Gold directly from our deck to our hand uh, as well. That play would have been great, but obviously to play around weird back rolls, especially on wide Joe Pros, I felt like it was way better to use Shadow's ability to just... Uh, pop those back rules. So now we're gonna activate mass change, send uh, Dark Law to the graveyard to summon, of course, the Anki, and just attack for game. All right, so let's attack for game at this point. GG, no re, bro. GG, no re. Meta scrubs only. Hey, all right, guys, so that's pretty much it. Any deck that doesn't let your opponent play with the graveyard, especially summoning cards like Dark Law or using cards like Necro Valley etc etc I feel like these decks are just really underrated in today's metagame and I feel like a lot of people should explore options on actually trying to make Dark Law more in today's metagame we have Destiny Hero Militia at 3 Azold is still a card can you imagine putting up a skill drain and also putting up a macro cosmos on the very first turn consistently that's absolutely insane guys not a lot of decks can beat that especially if you're going to a competitive Yu-Gi-Oh event like regionals or YCS you'll be expecting to face a lot of Orcus or a lot of Salomon Great. and I know that a lot of people are just so tired of playing against these decks right now and I feel like this is the better alternative let me know your thoughts in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video make sure you guys smash the thumbs up button that will be absolutely amazing. Make sure you guys get your Team Samurai X1 merchandise today in the link description box below for Black Friday. The entire website is up to 50% off. So get your play mats, get your sleeves. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Happy Black Friday and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, and I'll see you guys tomorrow at 8 a.m. EST. All right, guys. Peace. Let's go, let's go.